Welcome back guys and in this video we are going to see how to automate slider using our selenium web driver script okay so let us see what basically slider is okay so you can see that here we have you know a slider and we need to click over this particular you know uh, rectangle white rectangle and then we need to select it the slider and then we need to slide it okay so wherever you will leave the mouse pointer it will be you know slided to that particular coordinate or that particular place okay so this is what slider is so now we need to automate the slider using our script okay so let me first show you which method do we need in order to you know automate this slider so let me move to selenium web driver java docs and then move to basically you know overview of selenium java docs right so i'll move to the package org.openqa.selenium and then i'll move to all classes right so i'll now select actions class and then you can see basically a method drag and drop by okay so drag and drop by is the method which will be used in order to automate the slider okay so we need to provide a web element source what is the web element source you know basically that white uh, rectangle which we need to select and drag it in order to automate the slider that is the source element which we need to select target element right and then the x and y offset where we want to you know uh, slide it to right we can read it that a convenience method that performs a click and hold at the location of the source element right we need to click here and then hold right and then drag it okay so this is what the drag and drop by method does okay so click and hold at the location of the source element moves by given offset and then releases the nose okay so this is what we need to do okay so we'll be using this method uh, in the actions class and therefore we need to create the object of the actions class okay so now coming on to the script so here we have the main method and then we have written two lines which will invoke our chrome browser okay so web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup and then we have created the object of the chrome driver class and now this driver object has all the methods inside the chrome driver class right so we then maximize the window okay from driver.manage.window.maximize and then we will move to the website which has the slider right so we have written driver.get and then double inverted quotes and then we'll copy this particular url and we'll paste it over here right so pasted the url so we navigated to that particular website and now we need to basically find this particular element right because we need to give the target locator you can see that uh, uh, we need to give the source element right so the source element is this which we need to click and then you know uh, drag it so inspecting this particular rectangle white rectangle the slider and then you can see that this particular a tag right is responsible for basically this particular uh, slider okay let me copy the x path of this particular slider and then i'll write here driver dot find element and then by dot x path and then provide the x path of this particular slider and close the line right so i'll be storing this particular x path in a web element kind of return type because you can see that the return type of find element is a web element right so we'll create the uh, object of web element and then store this particular locator inside that particular object so i'm writing here web web element and then uh, slider okay we need to import the web element import web element from org.openqa.selenium so click over here and then it got imported you can see here right so we have stored the locator of the slider in this particular object and now we will make the uh, you know object of the actions class so actions action is equals to new actions right and then actions class take the driver reference so we'll provide the reference that is the driver so this particular reference need to be provided here right so we have provided it and then we need to import the actions class from org.openqa.selenium.interactions right click over here and then you will see that it has been imported right so now what we need to do that we need to use the method drag and drop by and our this particular object has all the methods which the action class has right so action dot drag and drop by and then it took the you know uh, source or target element which it needs to select and then drag right so it took it by itself this particular element right where we have stored the 
uh, you know the locator of that particular white rectangle this rectangle right so and then we need to provide the x and y offset so this is the main part of this video so let me show you for example i have you know uh, added an add on in my chrome and this add on basically uh, tells us the coordinates so you can just search over the chrome uh, xy coordinate add on for chrome and then you can download and add the extension okay so this is an extension which i have you know downloaded which tells me the coordinates so if i click over this and then move my pointer over the screen it will tell me the xy coordinates of the screen so here the slider is at you know 420 uh, okay 424 and 303 so if i want to make it to for example 824 and you know 303 then i need to provide the gap in between these two coordinates that will be of 400 right and the gap in the y coordinate will be zero because you are not uh, shifting in the y coordinate right this is not moving up and down right this is just moving in the x direction right so we need to just provide the gap of the x coordinate and coordinate and y coordinate will be zero so let me provide here 400 right in x direction and zero in the y direction right so let us you know provide a weight over here thread dot sleep and then 2000 so this is a weight and the script will wait for two seconds before performing the action of drag and drop so we need to write action dot perform because the perform method needs to be called in order to perform the action so this is a compulsion okay you need to write this otherwise the action won't be performed and then we need to uh, add the throws declaration right so the script is ready now and we need to run the script now so running the script after saving it the chrome browser will open and then it will open the automation testing demo website and then it will you know select the white rectangle slider and then we'll slide the slider so you can see it got slided right see the position of the slider so this is how we automate the slider using the drag and drop by method and this is how slider gets automated and the action gets performed okay so action class is the main class required for uh, basically automating the slider and drag and drop by is the method okay so i hope that this video was clear to you and we will be meeting in the next video with some new concept till then keep learning keep revising and keep watching thank you